I'm going to show you now a few work examples on sectional drawing. I've got this bracket here, it's a cast bracket. But two pictorial views of the bracket, one from the back, one from the front. And I've got a front view and a plan which have been given for me. And I want a sectional view taken on the section line XX, which means that would for the side view, I need to split it in half, I need to cut it in half, and show the view taken on these arrows. So it's as if I'm eliminating this half. All right? So imagine a cutting plane, a cutting line, taken across the middle of the shape like that, splitting in half, and seeing the detail inside. Right, so what I've done so far is I've taken projection lines from the details because you're not given any dimensions but you're given the front and the plan. So all you need to do is project each detail onto the front view, onto the side view from the front view and project sorry for all that turbulence I've projected onto this 45 degree line, so I've chosen I've chosen the distance between this point there, where the side view is going to start, where the plan is going to start, and taking a 45 degree line to project the details from here up to here. Now, first of all, I'm going to consider that this that the view, the side view, is an outside view. It hasn't been sectioned, so the the outline is not going to change. It's going to be exactly the same between a sectional and a front view won't have much difference so what I'm going to do is imagine that it's an outside view so look at the base I've got that detail there it's headline detail there detail at the top I need this view taken from there and the inner part taken from there That's the base part. I need to rub that off because I've darkened by mistake the wrong line. Because this part is a bit higher than the front part. So that's a profile of the base part. I've got this web going up to the midpoint of the cylinder, the cylinder reaches from that line to the front line there and then on, I've got this web, this piece of reinforcement joining the bottom part of the cylinder So that would be the profile, the outline of the shape. You still have this web visible going from there to there and the bottom part of the cylinder here. That would be the outside view apart from any hidden detail. Now what will change once I split it in half? All right, you're going to see the inner parts, you're going to see this through hole here and you can see that there's a countersunk board which means part of it, part of the through hole, a hole going right through, has a hole which is larger in diameter. 
so the head of the bolt could fit in there or a washer or a bearing or whatever so you've got and that, that's very visible also in the plan right you've got the through hole the first part of the through hole is a bit thicker than the rest of the through hole so the detail you, should, you have here should be also visible in the side view and once I split it that hidden detail is no longer hidden but you can see it so what I'm going to do is just going to repeat the same detail I've got here but horizontally here and not make any hints. If this was an outside view that detail would be hidden but it's no longer hidden. I'm going to darken that part this the part is no longer there because I've, I've removed this part. This web has been removed for the section of view. Now the remaining part, the remaining thing for this to show that it's a section of view, I need to add hatching lines. Hatching lines to show that's a section of view. So imagine that I've cut it off with a saw or with a power saw. It's going to leave marks everywhere I cut except for where I find holes or gaps or where it's already space like in this through hole here. So using a 45 degree angle I'm going to draw hatching lines a bit lighter than the outline in 2H I'm going to draw these hatching lines. So the first side of this drawing will give me, or whoever sees it, that it is a section view. So I'm, these are all the parts that have been split in half. Now I'm leaving part of it not hatched and I'll explain why. Alright, so that's your final section view. Now I should remove also this line here, this horizontal line there. So once you've cut that that face is all one plane. There's no edges. I've left this part without hatching because I've gone through that web or through the midpoint of that web. Now when you go through webs you leave them unhatched. So it gives you an indication that that is a web. If this total area will be hatched you'll think that this is total solid from here to here. But it's not. It's just a web in the middle. So that's your final answer. The section line. I'm not going to include a in hidden detail of these holes. Because one of them has been removed the other one is on the other side. But if you have a required hidden detail, you have one there and one there. The cutting plane has gone through this hole, so I've shown it. It hasn't gone through this hole, so I didn't leave part of it there. This view now is called section X X to give you an indication of where it has been. Thank you for following. Similar question now. Taking that view for a section of view. And third angle. Right, I've got the plan aside and I need a front which is sectioned along the cutting line XX, which means that I'm going to split it along that cutting plane there. Split it in half. The arrows are pointing up, so I'm going to eliminate the bottom half and look at the remaining top part and draw it here. No dimensions have given, so I'm going to project it. I've already projected the details onto the front view from the plan and from the side view. So, always first imagine that it's an outside view. You've got that L shape, a cylinder in the middle, and two webs. It's a very simple shape. Be careful of the detail, you've got an embossed hole there. An 
bust holes there and there. So in the L shape starts from here. That's where the cylinder starts. part of this thing now. Put a web joining this part to there and this part to there. So that's your outside view. I haven't darkened this part yet, but the outline remains the same. Once we split it in half, you're going to see the details on the inside. You're going to see the hole, the through hole that goes in the middle there. So, along these details, two points there. Here you've got a counter cell hole from here to here. I'm going to remove smaller two holes from there. And that joins those two parts. So we're almost done. All you need now is hidden detail. Now I'm not going to add the through holes here because cutting plane hasn't gone through them. So one is on here on the other side, the other one has been eliminated. So taking 45 degree angles, try to use a 2H pencil. I'm going to add hatching lines at 5 millimeter apart, equally spaced. Now I'm going to leave out the two webs because the webs don't take sectioning and the two holes don't take sectioning. If it has already opened like a true hole or a slot or a gap, make sure that you don't section it. Try to make neat Hatching lines equally spaced. Right, so there's your section of you. Of the section part. I'm going to add a center line through the through hole to show that it's actually a through hole. Alright, so there's not much difference in the outlet in the work. If it's a, just a normal outside view or a section of you, but any hidden detail that goes through the and where the cutting plane goes through now is going to be visible. A projection symbol, since it's third angle, would be a circle, two concentric circles, and a trapezium. All right, try to do these in instruments, not as I have done here. And that's your projection symbol for third angle projection. Here on the other question, that's the first angle projection symbol. Thanks for following. This is another worked example on sectional views. See this, this pictorial view.
the front view and the side view have been given. The section line should be taken along this staggered section line. It's not a straight section line, it's been staggered here. It changes direction, it goes through these through these two through holes here. It doesn't make much difference in our question. I, I finished the drawing. See, this part, there's no sectioning, so I haven't sectioned that. It's a normal W, normal plan. This part has been sectioned, so I've sectioned that part. The true hole now is shown, because I've removed the top part. Removed the top part and left the bottom part. This change of direction doesn't make a difference here. And that web, now, I've drawn the hatching lines, because it hasn't been sectioned along its cross section, but it has been sliced right through. So you show the section lines in webs whenever it's sectioned in this direction. And you see the two through holes there. So sectioning here, sectioning here, and sectioning here. So that's a, it's a sectional view. It's not much different from the outside view, but you've got section lines and the hidden detail are shown. Thanks for watching.